But for us, that really became <clears throat> a site of really significant advantage because what it allowed and really in some ways forced, invited the, the participants to do was rely more on one another. And so from that, these communities developed and we began to see them um, really serving in a kind of um, role as, as mentors to one another and facilitators to one another. For example, if someone were to ask a question about, you know, whether a piece she was working on had a sufficient amount of, you know, logical appeals to meet her purpose and her audience, that would be something I as an instructor might typically step in and answer. But what we found was that, you know, before we even had a chance to kind of step in and give a response, that person would have seven or eight responses, maybe even more, to that particular question. And, th and those responses were robust and um, insightful. And they did, in a sense, in, so, in many ways, exactly what I would have done as a teacher. And so what I learned, and I learned this very early on because I'm, I'm a very... Um, I'm, a, I'm a very much a hands-on teacher responding very, very quickly, and now I realize perhaps too quickly, um, to students and inquiries. And what the MOOC allowed me to do was sort of step back and um, value my silence a little bit, which then opened up the space for the participants to um, speak to one another in, and to take on that role of mentor um, peer, you know, peer reviewer, and this, these were outside this, the uh, sort of conventional peer reviews, but really step in and serve as sort of co-instructors of one another. And that was really made possible, I think, largely by scale.